Hi, uh, my name is Jessica Crook and I'm the interior designer working on the Woods Residence Restoration and Renovation Project and I'll be presenting the final proposal uh, for the kitchen and home office for Brad and Jenny today. So firstly, I will be going over the home office. So with this room, uh, Brad wants to restore the original Victorian elements which he... Um, in this room, which he's going to be using as his psychology room to treat the patients from home. So we'll be retaining the original cornicing and skirting and beautiful uh, fireplace and we'll be adding a ceiling rose as well. So this here was the mood board that I uh, did originally for the room. So moving on to the actual final proposal. So we'll also so overall, the, the room is going to be like an old mate's new kind of look uh, and sort of like modern Victorian. So we'll be adding a modern black Southampton pendant light uh, to the ceiling rose, as you can see. I can't oh, I'll click on it. Um, yeah, but you can see that, that pendant light there. The carpet was in good condition, but we're going to change it to parquetry timber American black walnut floorboard. So in the Victorian times, this sort of look was quite popular um, and it adds to the warmth to the space as well. I'll also include a traditional large floor rug, as you can see uh, in the picture there, and a plush and plush velvet curtains to add to the Victorian feel we're trying to convey as well as a patterned wallpaper on both uh, both walls and ornate black mirror above the fireplace. The armchairs are a modern take on the Victorian style high back chair and are super comfortable for uh, Brad's patients. These are from Coco Republic and they tie in quite nicely with the lower cabinetry finish as well. So the scheme, as you can see, is a blue-green, which creates a calm feeling in the room to help put Brad's patients at ease. We have inbuilt desk with a marble top, um, and the upper cabinetry is in a dark charcoal enamel paint finish, with the lower cabinetry um, in a silver top ash timber finish to help break it up a little bit. These uh, cupboards will help house Brad's patient files, his printer, the other sort of bits and bobs and they'll keep everything hidden away and tidy while the shelves will showcase some of his personal items to create sort of that homely feeling because we want the space to be homely and warm but also professional and organized so the patient can relax in the space moving on to the kitchen so this is the original mood board that i did for the room um, we have carried on the blue green color scheme from the office but we've also introducing pops of yellow, green and sort of a pink and red so it ties in with Jenny's current artwork. The overall feel of the room is eclectic and old meets new. So as Jenny, uh, she loves to cook so we've made the kitchen a feature with a large custom brass range hood uh, which is by Quasair with a new window behind to allow more natural light into the space. We'll also have a beautiful Moroccan uh, tile, white tile splashback. They're small 10 by 10 tiles and they create this beautiful kind of eclectic look um, to the kitchen and kind of it's quite a nice contrast with the modern uh, grey cabinets. There will be a new Smeg oven with sufficient storage, uh, cabinetry storage for pots and pans, a cutlery drawer, a tool pantry and a concealed Fisher Paykel double fridge with a lower freezer. We have an island bench with a bar, seating for casual dining and we also have the sink there. We have a bin cupboard on the other side along with the dishwasher. So it's sort of, sort of hidden away from what's, you know, people milling around in the space. We have an island. Blah, 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 where is that? So we have brass tapware, and we ha also have brass pull bars on all of the drawers and cupboards to tie in with the range hood, and to create that kind of more, I guess, upmarket feel to the kitchen. And we also have the Southampton pendant lights 
as a feature above the island bench. And another thing I haven't yet mentioned is the the finish on the bench tops is the Elba marble, which is from Italy, and it's absolutely stunning. And we'll have this seal to stop any stains and any acid etching from occurring when you're prepping food and that kind of thing. It's beautiful and it breaks up the dark charcoal cabinetry from the American walnut parquetry flooring that we're also going to be looking at 